They were the ones everybody came to see. And one by one by one, John Tavares, Victor Hedman, and Matt Duchesne, the top three prospects, were herded out in front of the masses to be prodded, pushed, and tested in every way possible. It just, it just gets you jacked up, gets you excited. Uh, you know, everybody's watching you, have the spotlight on you. I think, uh, you know, dealing with a lot of pressure situations before, I think uh, I've been trying to handle them the best I can. I'm never satisfied with what I did. I mean, uh, I could have done, I could have done more push-ups and more sit-ups, but... No, it's done, and I'm, I'm as happy it's over. The physical stuff is only half the battle. The players go through extensive interviews as well. Both Tavares and Hedman have had dinners this week with the Lightning and the Islanders. Both either have already or are scheduled to visit the cities to meet the owners and look around. You think about everything, about what can, where you might go and uh, you know what number and what can happen and all the things that are going around. You get an indication from even more teams about what might happen. This is uh, one of the last times you can make impression on the teams, and obviously, I mean, it's uh, it's good for them to see that we are in good physical shapes. Matt Duchesne hasn't been in the spotlight nearly as long as the other two, and based on the scouts and team brass we talked to, is far less polished in the interview process and still very much a kid in a candy store with all the attention. That is certainly not considered a bad thing. He can draw the inference that of the three players, he's had the least amount of attention, certainly over the past two years. Um, but I got to tell you, he's an exceptional young man. Just trying to fill, uh, live up to your potential, and uh, Stan Butler and Brampton helped me a lot round out my game and uh, helped me become a complete player, and that's kind of the reputation I've, I've gotten from that, and um, I wouldn't be here without him. Tavares wasn't able to complete a number of the exercises they had in store for him because he's still on the tail end of rehabbing a shoulder injury. He couldn't do the bench press or push-ups or some of the strength tests. He insists, though, that the shoulder will be fine. He'll resume full training in the next week or so. And from the scouts we talked to, certainly isn't anything they are concerned about either. From the 2009 Draft Combine, Ryan Rashog, TSN.